on the 7th of December, the last decent day we're going to have for God only knows how long. Thank God that uh, my sister Lana came home and she pulled this cleaner home from Fargo for me. With this conveyor hanging off the back end of it. That was a big trip for an old farm girl. <laughs> so we're on the last hopper of field run fennel beans they're coming out of that truck there uh, into that conveyor that's running by hydraulics into this is all electric that's running hydraulics as is this conveyor which is running off of that gas powered conveyor there we have to use conveyors uh, to handle these beans so we don't damage them the screenings is going in that truck up here kind of plugging up here a little bit I got to open it up I don't know what I'd have done if my sister want to come home I had quite a rash with help uh, prior to that and then I ran into a whole week of sabotage after she was here that held me up on drying this is the last day uh, that we're gonna have weather decent enough to even dry beans I've never had to dry pinnel beans before this uh, this has been quite the year, 2019, uh, one for the record books. Next year might be worse. Uh, we're definitely into climate change, but it isn't global warming, I got news for you. Uh, so all this all going up in the dryer over here, to the grain dryer. It's almost full. We got a batch dry, takes three hours to a batch because we got to use, use really low heat so we don't damage these beans they're edible pinto beans 100% uh, USDA organic certified pinto beans so they're going up into the truck with this conveyor here and uh, yeah, my lights don't work back here anymore hard to tell I had electrician supposedly I had electrician working here for a year <laughs> what a joke so, uh, yeah, normally we come out of this bin into the dryer and it's all electric. We continuous flow dry, like doing sunflowers or corn or whatever, but spindle beans have to be dried at low temperature, about 100 to 110 degrees, so they split. If you split them, it turns into uh, basically dockage you don't get paid for. We gotta watch the dryer here. We're running this manually. That auger up there quits turning. I know the dryer is full. And then we'll start the burner. A lot of babysitting, but I think we're gonna get it done. Thanks, Alana. I love you. Appreciate it. I don't know how to done without it. Thanks for the help. Love you, bye.